Hey guys, it's Young Mind HS here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get the maximum FPS on Darwin Project. Now, this has been a pretty popular game over the last few months, so I thought I'd cover it. Anyway guys, let's get right into the video. So guys, before we get into the tutorial, I thought I'd just show you some gameplay of uh, before they optimize footage. As you can see, we're getting around 27, uh, you know, lows are like 20, but we're getting highs around, you know, the 30 FPS mark. So, you know, uh, and I have a pretty good PC as well. I have a 1060 and an i7, so, you know, if you were on a lower end PC, you'd really struggle. But anyway, guys. Let's get into the tutorial so I can sort you out. Okay guys, so the first step's pretty obvious, but what you want to do is come into Options, go to Anti-Aliasing, turn it to None, Resolution Scaling to 50, Graphics Quality to Very Low, VSync Off, Frame Rate or Limit to the Max, put it on Full Screen, and then put it on Resolution at uh, 1280 by 720 then you want to apply that. Okay, so that's the first step. The next step is in Windows, so I'll show you that now. Okay guys, so now we're in Steam, there's a couple of things we can do. You want to right click on Darwin Project, hit Properties, Set Launch Options, and then you're going to want to copy this from the description. But there'll be an 8 here that you'll need to change, and you want to set it to your number of cores. If you don't know what that is, uh, go to the search bar here, hit Task Manager, Performance, CPU, and then Logical Processors, mine's 8. So whatever that number is, you want to put it in there. And then click OK, and then Enable Steam Overlay while in-game, turn that off, and Enable Desktop for your VR while in-game. So after you turn both of those off, you want to go to Local Files, Browse local files, go to Darwin, right click on it, hit properties, compatibility, run in 6040 by 4A, and override DPI scaling behavior. Then you hit apply and hit OK. Then you want to just go back and you want to type in control panel. And then in the top, type in Advanced, View Advanced System Settings, Settings, and then Adjust for Best Performance, and then hit Apply. It'll take a couple of seconds just to, um, you know, make some of the changes to your Windows, and then you want to go to Advanced, and make sure this is set to Programs and not Background Services. Then the next thing you want to do is go to run and type percent temp percent and then just delete all the files in here by pressing control A and then pressing delete. And do this for current items and then just skip because um, these are ones being created right now so it means you just can't delete them. Yeah, so you won't be able to leak some of them because they've, uh, you know, you can see these have just been created recently, so it can't get rid of them. Okay, then what you want to do is go to the recycling bin, Control A, delete, permanently delete them. Then what the next thing you want to do is go this PC. Then go to uh, scroll down. Then right click on the one that has the little Windows sign on it. Press properties. Go to disk cleanup. And tick all of these. Press OK. And delete files. And that'll take a couple of seconds just while it deletes the files. 
and then after that is done what you can do is go to tools and check your disk for editors by scanning the drive again that will take another couple seconds as well and this is a huge step because I know a lot of people have had an error with their drive and it's really slowed down their computer well as you can see everything's fine now uh, this is a tri uh, trick just for people with uh, hard disk drives so if you click on optimize it says hard disk drive here you want to click on it and click optimize and basically what this will do is defragment it and it will basically mean that your, your hard disk drive is accessing data quicker than what it would be and it will just reduce stuttering then what you want to do is go back into control panel type in power at the top go to power options uh, set this to high performance you may have to um, reveal the additional plan go to change plan settings go to change advanced power settings now this will be uh, by default be set to 20 but you actually want to set this to 0 and then you want to scroll down and set process power management minimum processor state maximum processor state and you want to make sure these are both 100 if they're not just you know click on it and set them to 100 okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right drivers depending on if you have um, NVIDIA or AMD uh, I'll link these both down below so basically if you have NVIDIA you select the, the model you select the card uh, what Windows you have or Linux and then that's it and then you start search and it'll basically find the updated drivers for you and basically you'll just click on that and then it'll download it for AMD it's the exact same so you tell them what you have and then you know you click display results and it'll basically show the, you the drivers if you don't know what driver you have you just go to run and type in dx diag that should open up this and if you go to display it'll say chip type and that'll be your driver right there well that's also your driver under name as well so that's your driver so um, yeah if you just search for that drivers for that then uh, you want to keep those updated so the next thing you want to do is go to task manager go to startup and if you see anything in here that you um, you don't really use or like you never use just right click on it and click disable because these will basically just be background programs that are just taking up space and it can really slow down your game next thing you want to do is go to this app that I'll leave in the description you want to run it it'll make the horrible noise click yes check status and then it'll take a couple of seconds it's basically checking if your CPU is parked or unparked what unparking it does is basically allows it to you know give out a lot more power and you know just process a lot more so it's a great way to just increase overall system performance as well as FPS so now that that's done you want to go ahead and unpark all I'm not going to do that because my PC doesn't need it and also you have to restart afterwards so guys what you want to go ahead and do now is restart your PC just to make sure all the settings are working and going through so go ahead and restart now and then come back to the video so now that you're back and you've launched Steam you want to go ahead and click play because there's one more change that you need to make inside the game the last change you have to make is a bit weird you want to go into your dressing room and if you play as a female you want to change to male because for some reason 
when you play as a female you get less FPS I'm not sure if it's some kind of bug or there's different physics, I don't know or maybe it's just male privilege anyway, after you've done that you want to go back and let's see how it looks after these optimizations. So now in the pre-game we're getting about 270 to 260 FPS compared to you know the 25 we were getting before and then in game we're getting about 150 you know it's a huge huge increase from the you know the low 20s to you know 30 FPS at push we were getting before. Anyway guys this has been me, Young Man DHS. If you liked this video, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. See you in the next one. Oh.